Well, I came over here to bring Bill and Spiff back to their vehicles because they moved over to the block I'm on. And I better quit walking because I tripped. I see that's how Dad dealt with his tree length pile getting ahead of his shortwood pile. He just double stacked it right there. And you can see he didn't have near the rotten wood on this side. Boy, it's getting dark, isn't it? Yeah, there was a little more rotten wood in the center here. I see he moved back over here to slash a maple and birch, I think. Well, he's got a pile of balsam there to slash. Oh, you can't even see the ash. He did the birch there, and this is maple, and you can't see that either. Shoot, it's really poor quality maple. It would have been interesting to show you. You can see in that pile it ran what about 60% good quality to 40% not. Well these piles here it looks like it ran maybe 70-30. Stuff on the right has rot in it, stuff on the left does not. Well, the pile right there is maple. You can see how small that is. A birch there, pretty small. You see they, they double stack the balsam. Huh. Looks like about a hundred cords between the two piles. Added up a little better than I expected. That's good. I don't know if you can tell how straight that pile on the left is. But doggone, that's a pretty nice pile. Nice and straight. Of course that's the better quality wood on the left and the stuff with some rod in it was on the right this ran a lot better quality down here <laughs> no offense dad but i think jeff must have slashed this one he made a nice pile nice and straight across the top very nice another pile of little birch must be maple over there why, Jacob, if you're watching us, I'm guessing you're getting pretty nervous. Jacob is a contract hauler for us. <laughs> he said he loses sleep at night when there's wood piled around. And more aspen here. I see Jeff. Jeff Slasher's back here. He's still got... Well, he's got a little ways to go. He must have a couple hundred cords yet to slash. Oh, there's, there's a pile behind the loader. Must be balsam. There's definitely a correlation between the smaller diameter aspen and quality. That's some really nice white wood. Blend should make some nice paper out of that. That'd be good. I don't know if you can tell how small that maple is. It's probably four to eight inches there's probably some 10 inches in there but that is really small diameter wood i had a guy ask me why we don't you know cut logs out of our hardwood and and that's why because our hardwood has no quality compared to other areas in the states for sure well thanks for taking a little tour of the landing with me or this block anyway I gotta say thank you to all the new subscribers. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you're staying warm because it's been fairly warm. It's supposed to get warmer again. But anyway, have a great day. Or I could continue this video. I remember what I was saying about the smaller timber or diameter has better quality. And this is a, a good example of that too. There's Probably three times as much good wood as rotten wood here and I think you can tell how much smaller diameter it, it is. Yeah we need to get some trucks in here. <laughs> this warm weather makes me nervous but it's it's a nice break from the cold. Anyway I'm going home. Hopefully there's a good supper for me. Hope you guys are having a good supper too if you're watching this in the evening. Thanks again for watching.